Just a short distance from Bond Street Station, in a quiet back alley of Marlebone, lies the Palestine Exploration Fund. It is one of the lesser known historical organizations in London, but it has been in existence for 150 years. Its founding meetings were held at the Jerusalem Chamber in Westminster Abbey. Important members of the British establishment and leading scientists and researchers were eager to be a part of this society. It is the oldest organization in the world that is devoted to the scientific study of Palestine. 150 years later, members of staff have returned to the Jerusalem Chamber to discuss the origins of the Palestine Exploration Fund. This is the story of the Palestine Exploration Fund. Do you want to tell us a bit about the um, early days before the establishment of the PEF? Yes. By the middle of the 19th century, um, economic situation was changing dramatically due to the Industrial Revolution, and you had a, a growing middle class who were mm -hmm. able to uh, take an interest in things like the study of the Holy Land. But there was no organization dedicated to that um, anywhere in the world. In 1852, the Dean of Westminster, um, Arthur Pinrin Stanley, took a trip to Palestine and he traveled around and um, he knew a lot about the country already. He came back and he published a best-selling book, Sinai and Palestine, um, which went through a number of different editions and was the introduction to most people, most educated people, to Palestine. Grove had been working on um, preparing entries on biblical places for Smith's Dictionary of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And because of that, um, Dean Stanley asked him to uh, provide a set of entries on biblical places for the second edition of Sinai and Palestine. Okay. This exercise had shown to both of them, how little was actually known about the country. Mm -hmm. When the PEF, uh, well, before the PEF was founded, when um, Grove had got the money from uh, Lady Angela Burdett Coots to do the Ordnance Survey, he wanted someone who um, not only had the skills to do the surveying work that was required, but who also had the diplomatic skills to deal with the Ottoman government and the physical stamina to cope with the difficult conditions. Yeah. Uh, how much did uh, Charles Wilson's explorations in Jerusalem um, contribute to the establishment? They were a key part of it because what he was doing was to bring out real information about the city at the center of the whole biblical account. And although very few people will have purchased a set of the Ordnance Survey of mm -hmm. Jerusalem, which would have been horrendously expensive, um, a lot of people would have heard about it and read popular accounts of his work. Um, so his work made which was financed by uh, Lady Angela Burdett Coates, okay. Okay. Um, made it directly possible to start the PEF. Okay. 